Hi everybody, welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. Today we are in my downstairs bathroom to do a mask and chat segment. It's actually my first one and it's actually the nighttime. Um, so basically I ordered this um, travel size of the Natural Logic Luna Red Wine Bio Ferment Mask. This is 0.75 ounces or 20 milliliters. Um, it's travel size and it was $28 plus shipping and etc. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about the mask before we put it on. So there's kind of a lot of details here, but um, for two fluid ounces, which is the full size, 60 milliliters, it's $78. And this is a seasonal limited edition mask and it's in stock while supplies last. Um, it says Luna instantly imparts moisture, balance, and antioxidant nourishment, delivering intense hydration and luminosity, evening skin tone, and boosting natural radiance while strengthening skin's barrier and protecting against water loss. As it rests on your skin and invigorates your senses, naturally occurring probiotics and fruit enzymes, antioxidants and brightening compounds go to work cleansing pores neutralizing free radicals, smoothing and refining and breathing new life and vitality into skin. And it's so Natural Logic has in-house crafted red wine, which takes half a year to produce and harvest. And it says over the course of several lunar cycles, the enzyme and probiotic rich grapes ferment, settle beneath the wine and are harvested at each new moon. This year's batch is crafted from Tuscan Multipulciano, Tuscan Barolo, and Chilean Petite Syrah red wine grapes. Um, so this is for all skin and complexions, especially nurturing for dry, mature, hydrated, malnourished, and sensitive skin, which when I'm looking at myself right now, I'm like, can't believe I'm going on camera with nothing on the face. But anyways, some of the benefits are soothes and moisture balances dry, dull, sensitive, mature, flaky, and dehydrated skin, instills deep plumping hydration, brightens and illuminates, stimulates collagen, strengthens and maintains healthy skin barrier, prevents trans epidermal water loss and leaves skin radiant and glowing. And it says apply a generous even layer of the mask to freshly cleanse lightly padded dry skin and allow to penetrate for 30 to 60 minutes. Rinse well. For more moisturized skin, rinse with warm water and lightly pat dry. For less moisturized skin, remove with warm water and cloth. And I'm just gonna let you know some of the key ingredients and then we'll get on with it. Red wine, which is, has naturally, is rich in naturally occurring alpha hydroxy acids, polyphenols, resveratrol, and gluconic acid. Stimulates collagen and elastin restoration, hyaluronic acid, Raw honey, which is antibacterial, rich in vitamins and highly humectant. Rosehip extract, rich in naturally occurring vitamin C. Strawberry juice, which improves hydration and elasticity. And raw cacao butter, highly antioxidant, nutrient dense, and emollient, etc. So that's all the background information. So the first thing I need to do is actually wash my face. So I'm just gonna use my Pi Light Work Rosehip Fruit Extract Cleansing Oil. I love this cleansing oil, so I just figured I'd show you what I'm using. Sorry, I don't know. Well, I caught it just in time. Um, I love this cleansing oil so much. Um, it has this great citrus scent, and I love it, and I find myself reaching for it a lot. So, I like to massage it in, and I love the way the oil feels and smells. So if you're looking for a nice citrus smelling cleansing oil, I highly recommend this. I think I'm putting a pretty good dent in it. I mean, it's the start of it, but you can tell I'm using it. All right, so I'm going to wash my face and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Freshly cleansed and padded dry skin. And I'm gonna open up the mask. That's what it looks like. The only thing so far that I've done is smell it. And it does smell like sort of like red wine and chocolate. 
So this is the consistency. Nice and um, creamy. So I'm gonna use, my mom got me this little um, Eco Tools interchangeables it's called. So the little heads come off and this is the mask applicator. So I'm going to use that right now and apply the mask. Hopefully this will give you a well good understanding of um, how the mask goes on. It does smell chocolatey and I like the color. I know that shouldn't matter, but I do like the color. So now there's already a cat fur in here. I have two cats and their fur appears everywhere. Such a pretty color. Not, I wouldn't say red, I wouldn't say pink, rose-ish. My only person that applies, I see a lot of people with like mask photos and they don't do it here, but I've always done it there. Um, I don't know, maybe they don't want to get in their hair and stuff. Speaking of that, I have this cute, how well you can see it, um, headband. It's from Miyakota. It was a joint collaboration with Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty. I'll have to put her YouTube name at the bottom because it's, and I think it's a Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty. I'm not sure if that's her correct title, um, Danielle. And um, Mia Coda did a joint collaboration. And this was, they have cute, they had like cat scrunchies and cat headbands. And I am a cat lady, so I had to support it and some of the proceeds went to cat rescue so that was um, awesome it's cute and it's like nice because you can tie it as tight as you want and stuff um, so I'm a big fan and they use like recycled ew, re <laughs> that doesn't look good. recycled um, fabric and stuff I guess like unused parts of fabric and something like that so it was seems pretty sustainable and everything um, I really wanted to try this mask, but I didn't want to spend $78. So I really like the fact that they have this um, travel size and I think I'll get at least like a few masks out of it. So, you know, of course it ends up being expensive. I mean, it was, like I said, it came to like 30, 33 or something with the, actual, the other fees associated with just the original cost, but with like shipping and stuff, I don't know if they charge tax, I can't remember. Um, but I just wanted to, um, sample it and it's limited edition but like I said I don't want to spend over $80 or over $78 so here we are. Alright so that is the application of the mask. It's super creamy and feels great. So it had said to leave it on for 30 minutes to an hour so because it's like 8 30 at night and I go to sleep early I'm gonna do 30 minutes and then I will come back and let you know how things are going. See you in 30, bye. Hi, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes and this is how the mask looks. It's still, um, it's it's not like hard or dry at all, which is awesome. Um, and I like the smell. I, I wasn't crazy about it when I first smelled it, um, but it's like pretty pleasant. And it has like, you know, like I said, sort of a chocolate, it must be like chocolatey red wine scent or something, but um, it's nice, so it feels good on the skin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rinse it off because it said for more moisturization, rinse it off and then we'll see how it feels and um, you know, talk about it a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So the mask is all cleaned off now. And I have to say um, in removing, when I was removing it, it had like a really nice, like putting like consistency as it came off. I don't think I've ever really noticed how a mask feels taking it off, but for some reason with this one, as I removed it, it just felt like really nice. And I think my, my skin feels good. Um, it just feels like a nice, you know, I don't know, it just feels nice. Um, I don't think I notice anything like stark 
super noteworthy about my skin, but um, other than like a breakout here and stuff, and here, I don't have much um, skin, any like skin issues right now. So I like the way my skin feels though. It feels like hydrated and plump and stuff. So I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I recommend it. Um, you know, it's, it's nice. It has a unique scent. The feeling of it is nice. It's definitely like a moisturizing, soothing mask. Um, and I really, you know, this is how much I used in my first, um, application. So I feel like I still have a lot left in this little jar. I think I could at least get a few more out of it, which is awesome. Um, but definitely like a really nice, like pudding, pudding, like consistency, which I really like. Um, you know, I'm going to finish the rest of my skincare routine now. Um, I use, I treat this as like, I have to cleansing. I do the face mask and then I do like the toning and stuff, but I've heard before that you're supposed to tone before you, um, do a mask, but I've never done that before. I'd be curious if anyone else does that. Anyways, this is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Facial Toner Tonique. I think I got this in um, a bump box years ago when I was pregnant with my son, and um, it's probably pretty old, but it's my oldest toner in my collection, so I'm using it now. Trying to use it up. Um, I don't really like it very much um, because it, ha it smells like witch hazel. Um, that's the first ingredient and I don't really like the smell of witch hazel. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. If you like witch hazel though, I don't think you'd really mind it. It feels fine. I just, I kind of like, part of the reason I like toner is for the scent experience and I don't really like the scent with that one, but it is really old. So maybe it doesn't usually smell like witch hazel, but it is the first ingredient. So um, for my serum at night, I'm using Earthwise Beauty Black Locust Firming Concentrate. So I'm supposed to shake it up and then I will take one, two, three, four, five, six drops and move it on. Um, I love this oil. It's, uh super luxurious. It has a very unique, I think like resinous scent, herbal medicinal resinous. Those are words that I think could accurately describe it, but it sort of reminds me of licorice, but normally I don't like licorice, but I really like this. So it's very unique and the oil is so like luscious feeling and I can kind of be generous with it and it doesn't, um, my skin just like drinks it up and I love it. I love it very much. And I highly recommend this one. I haven't used many of Earthwise Beauty's products so far. I've only used this and the um, Impoteps Balsam Face Mask, which I don't love, but I do love this oil. Um, so, Oh my gosh, it makes my, my skin feel amazing. So I highly recommend it. It's pricey. I don't know, I think this is the full size and I think it's close to $90 US. So it's not cheap, but it's definitely noteworthy. And then I'm going to do my eye serum, which is Love and Eye Bright Eye Serum. I got this as a gift with purchase from, I think, Credo Valentine's Day, I believe. I read a, I heard a great tip on the Breaking Beauty podcast that you should smile when you put on your eye cream, and then you can see where your lines are more. And when I did that, I noticed they're like all there too. So I'm gonna start taking my eye cream out. And I also read that some people, or heard and saw on YouTube that some people take it, their eye cream and like their other lines. And I have some little lines from smiling. They, I think they call them frown lines, but mine are from smiling. And <laughs> I take it there. So it hasn't caused me any issues yet, but I don't know. 
so far not a huge fan of this. Um, it doesn't absorb very well. My friend is using it too. She has the same feeling that it doesn't absorb well, but cool. And lastly, I'm going to finish with the Hanua Hawaiian Skin Care Mehalani Moonlit Glow Balm. This is one of my project pan items, and as you can see, I'm working on it. Um, it's like thick and greasy, and I think it was really great for a winter treatment and probably not ideal for spring and summer, but I have considered putting it aside and resuming it in the fall, but I'm like, uh, it hasn't caused me any issues. In fact, my skin has been great, so like overall, so I use it at night and I try to use it um, like earlier in the evening, like after dinner, but when I still have like maybe an hour before bedtime, that way I'm not like just being super greasy on my pillowcase or something. So if I'm if I remember or if I forget to do my skincare routine and I am doing my moisturizing like right before bed, I will use a different one because this one's like really greasy. So I don't think it would be a repurchase for me. And if I was gonna use it again, it would definitely be like a winter repurchase, but we'll see. So that is everything. So as I mentioned, this is this um, Luna Red Wine Bio Ferment Mask is a seasonal item and limited stock. So um, you would need to check the website to see if it's still available, but um, hopefully it will be by the time this comes out. And I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and I'm really glad I got to try it out with you guys and I would love to know your thoughts. So thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted to when the next video is coming out. See ya!